My name is Robert Weeks. I'm a mixed martial artist. Today I'm here at Main Event Sports Club and I'm going to be showing you some knife techniques of Filipino martial arts. In knife fighting and Filipino martial arts, it teaches a lot about the instrument of a knife. A knife is not an impact tool. It's not a blunt tool. In fact, the weight of it should exactly be what it's considered for. It's a very light and weak tool. The only thing that's strong about the knife is the fact that it has a serrated edge that can penetrate a matter. When you have a, a knife fight, you tend to see a lot of people throwing haymakers, throwing it from all the way around and trying to lunge at you. But once again, we've already decided that the knife is not a blunt instrument. So using it like one, it's, it's not going to work. It's not going to be to your advantage, at least. When looking at a knife fighting curriculum, you want to make an imaginary clock in front of you. Okay, or a square, however you want to look at it. In baseball, it would be the batter's box, or in uh, soccer, it would be where uh, the goalie can stay within his parameter. We have a square in front of us about a foot wide by two feet long that we can label at the top is 12 o'clock and at the bottom is 6, on the right is 3 o'clock, and on the left is 9 o'clock. Your very first move in uh, Filipino martial arts for knife fighting is going to be going from a 2 o'clock to an 8 o'clock. Very simple. When holding the knife, you're not going to want to let the knuckles come out higher than the knife. The knife is, gonna, uh, is a lot more of an effective tool, so you're going to want to make sure your knife is extended further out than your knuckles. Because it's already serrated and sharp, it's going to take just the minimal amount of effort and energy in order to get what you need to get done. And in this case, it's going to be cutting your victim. Remember, with that box in front of you, you do not need to leave that box. So that means you don't need to come from behind you. You don't need to come from the side. You need to come straight from in front of you. And just as simple as remembering what time it is. So one move would be from 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock. And the other move would be from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Considered like a slash of an X. All within your box or your circle you've created. Very light movements, very articulate. You do not need to be too tense. Allow all the weight to reside in your pinky and your ring finger of the knife. And those are some nice techniques of Filipino martial arts. See you next time.